today we're reviewing the Sealy Posh Repeated Plus Ridgecrest 2, a 14 inch inner spring mattress with a polyfoam comfort layer atop a classic inner spring unit. In the world of direct to your door foam and hybrid mattresses, these inner spring models are more rare to see these days. This particular model from Posturepedic is only sold at Costco. While you can find it at the store, they also offer it on their website to be delivered to your house. So what is the Costco stamp of approval worth? Should you be getting your mattress at the same place you get your $5 rotisserie chicken? We ran the Posturepedic Plus Ridgecrest 2 through our battery of 10 objective and data-driven tests to find out. First up, let's take a look at how it scored across our performance categories. For response time and edge support, it scored a 10 out of 10. Sex was nearly there at a 9.9, .9, with company close behind at a 9.8. From there, cooling and off-gassing scored in the low 9 range. The lowest scoring categories were a good bit behind the rest, with motion transfer at an 8.8 .8 and pressure relief all the way down at an 8.0. This brought in its overall score at a 9.22 out of 10. For reference, the average performance score across the 190 plus mattresses we tested to date is a 9.51. Now, let's take a look at what firmness options are available. For the Posturepedic Plus Ridgecrest 2, you can choose between two levels, plush or firm. In this review, we tested the firm, which has a slightly firm feel with a firmness rating of 7 out of 10, where 10 is the most firm. We estimate the plush version to have a medium feel with a firmness rating of 5 out of 10. Next, we're gonna talk through what the Ridgecrest does best. First, it has a high profile 14 inches of material. Generally speaking, this is especially good for heavier weighted bodies as more material means more support and more comfort. Second, the mattress has fast material response. With only 0.5 seconds, the materials are able to rebound quickly to provide easy movement on the surface. Last, the moderately high balance and great edge support combined to make this mattress excellent for sex. However, all mattresses aren't ideal for all sleepers. Let's talk through the important consideration points for the Ridgecrest. First, we recorded high levels of motion transfer in our test. This means it has the potential to disturb more sensitive sleepers with movement during the night. Secondly, pressure relief was lacking, and this is especially true for side sleepers. There's definitely some comfort issues on this mattress. Finally, cooling performance was okay, but I wouldn't recommend it for those who say they sleep hot or live in warmer oh, climates. Hot. Your body weight and the sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. The Posture Pedic Plus has a good level of support. However, that support is complicated by less than great pressure relief. In the case of the Posture Pedic Plus, the foam quality is creating notable pressure points on the mattress. These were especially apparent in the middle of the mattress where there are more supportive materials, what Sealy calls their targeted support. While I do feel the mattress creates plenty of support with its 1,072 coils, it just isn't comfortable due to the lack of pressure relief. As a result, I found it hard to find a comfortable position on the mattress during our test. It's possible that my relatively lightweight body of 140 pounds just isn't well suited to the support dynamic of the mattress and that heavy weighted bodies may find it a more even feel. Even so, much like with pressure relief, I've found the support performance to be far from great. Be sure to visit us over at naplab.com slash mattress dash quiz. There you can submit your needs and preferences and we'll send you back a personalized recommendation based on your inputs. Next up, we're gonna move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing it according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then we get off the mattress and take periodic measurements of the surface level temperature. Our tests show how the mattress retains and releases heat and overall cooling performance. Mattresses that breathe better, retain less heat, and sleep cooler are better as they allow sleepers to maintain a comfortable temperature. The Sealy Posturepedic Plus has good but not amazing cooling performance. During our test, I felt a slight to moderate level of heat retention around my body. On the positive side, the mattress uses an 8-inch inner spring unit. This provides good airflow to the mattress and it's eight inches of material that isn't absorbing heat. However, we still have five inches of comfort material on top of the mattress that is absorbing and retaining heat. I really am quite disappointed with the quality of the foams. They both look and feel lower quality. Each of the foam layers has a notable crunchy feel to them when weight or pressure is applied.
Needless to say, that's not ideal. You more typically see foams look and feel like this after years of use. To see a foam quality like this on day one is shocking. While the surface level temperature readings were positive, I believe they look far better than the reality due to our wintertime testing. The feel directly on my skin was one of notable and significant warming. All that said, given the price point, it's hard to complain too much. This Posturepedic Plus has an expected level of cooling performance given its price. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. Deeper sinkage can cause sleepers to feel overly enveloped by the material layers, while less sinkage can make you feel that you're sleeping more on top of the mattress as opposed to in it. Sinkage is a preference factor. Some prefer more, others less. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 2.17 inches. At this depth, the Ridgecrest 2 is exactly equal to the average sinkage found across all mattresses we've tested to date. The mattress has a balance and restrained level of body contouring hug. This makes sense given the inner spring coil unit. Even with five inches of foam on top, the foams just don't overly wrap around the body like memory foam or many other types of polyfoam will. This gives the mattress a fairly typical traditional coil type of a feel. This is neither good nor bad, but it is a specific feel. Those who like coil mattresses will likely find the sinkage and comfort dynamic is appealing, while those who have mostly slept on hybrid memory foam or other foam mattresses may find it doesn't create enough pressure relief. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to objectively measure the motion generated by the medicine ball drop. Lower motion transfer is better as it helps sleeping partners avoid disturbing each other during the night. Sealy Posturepedic has a moderate level of motion transfer. In our test, we measured a total acceleration range of 9.53 meters per second squared. This is 12.3% more motion transfer than the average of 8.50 meters per second squared. In our motion transfer chart, which visualizes our accelerometer data, we see the highest motion peaks from 0 to 0 0.22 seconds. Motion drops thereafter, and by 0 0.65 seconds, we return to near zero levels of energy. While the motion peaks are a little higher than is ideal, the motion duration is quite a bit shorter than I expected. Typically, inner spring mattresses have higher motion transfer due to the nature of the springs. However, here we measured a relatively restrained level of motion spike and a duration that is about 0.4 seconds faster than would be more typical. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and objectively measure the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. A faster response time is better as quicker responding material layers better adapt to your changes in movement and prevent any type of a stuck feeling. The Sealy Posturepedic is a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to material responsiveness. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.5 seconds and a fully recovered response time of 2.8 seconds. The mostly recovered response time that our score is based on is just 0.1 seconds slower than average. However, the fully recovered response time is 1.94 seconds slower than average. Most sleepers should find that the 0.5 seconds to mostly recover creates enough material speed to be comfortable. However, a fully recovered time of 2.8 seconds is bad no matter how you slice it. Out of the 192 mattresses we've tested to date, it is the sixth slowest mattress in terms of full material recovery speed. This type of slow recovery makes it more difficult to move around the mattress and create a situation where sleepers may feel stuck in the mattress. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. However, more bounce is typically better than less as it improves ease of movement, aids in response time, and improves sex performance. The Posturepedic Plus has a moderate level of bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of exactly 10 inches. This is 0.39 inches more bounce than the average of 9.61 inches based on all of our tests to date. Ideally, I wanna see bounce in the eight to 12 inches range. At this level, we can experience the benefits of bounce, namely sex performance and ease of movement, without it being so high as to create significant problems with motion transfer. At 10.0 inches, the Posturepedic Plus is exactly in the middle of my ideal range. Most sleepers will find this level of bounce to be perfectly sufficient. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Less sinkage while sitting and lying directly on the edge of the mattress is better as it creates a more supportive edge for sleeping, lounging, and amorous activities. The Sealy Posturepedic has exceptionally good sitting edge support and excellent lying edge support. In our sitting test, 
we measured a sitting slinkage compression at the edge of just 3.0 inches. This is 1.10 inches less sitting edge sinkage than the average of 4.10. Notably, we tested the firm version, which is likely to have better sitting sinkage compared to the plush version. So do bear that in mind if you're thinking about opting for the plush. Lying edge support was nearly as good. In our lying edge support test, I felt well supported in all sleeping positions. While Sealy is vague on the exact specs of the edge support, they do mention that the mattress is equipped with perimeter edge support coils. Thanks to these coils and a slightly firm feel, the mattress can deliver solid edge support for both sitting and lying. Our sex test uses a weighted formula to assess sex performance. Higher balance, more supportive edges are the most important factors, with noise, pressure relief, and cooling being less weighted inputs. Mattresses with more balanced, better edge support perform better for sex, as do mattresses that don't make as much noise and are more comfortable to lie on. For the Ridgecrest, these individual factors generate a sex score of 9.9. .9. This mattress has a moderate level of balance paired with exceptionally good edge support. These two factors alone make up 80% of the sex score and are critical to good performance in this category. It does struggle with cooling and pressure relief, but within the sex test, these sub-factors just aren't worth enough of the total score to really drag down the performance. That said, if cooling and pressure relief are more important factors to you with respect to your dance without pants, this may be something worth considering. Our pressure relief test is a measure of overall pressure relief performance. We analyze materials, layers, thickness, density, and design elements in conjunction with a subjective assessment of our experience while lying on the mattress. Mattresses with better pressure relief are able to create a more comfortable sleeping surface. The Sealy Postupedic Plus has fair pressure relief at best, but during our test, I felt a moderate level of pressure point buildup in my shoulders and back. The Postupedic Plus uses a five inch thick comfort layer, which ordinarily would be more than thick enough to create ample pressure relief. However, the foams look and feel low quality. When I press directly into the foams, there is a noticeable crunchiness to them. This type of feel can sometimes occur when foams are many years old. Suffice to say, to see foams in this condition on a brand new mattress is massively concerning. During our testing, anytime I would lay in the same spot for more than a few minutes, I could feel a level of building pressure. In my view, the foam quality is severely limiting the pressure relief on the mattress. To evaluate off-gassing, we assess the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measure of any strong smells. We monitor the mattress over a period of days until the mattress no longer has a strong odor. Mattresses with less strong odor and or an odor that dissipates more quickly are better. Off-gassing on the Sealy Postupedic is stronger at the box and it took 10 days to dissipate. Across all mattresses tested to date, 10 days is certainly longer than average. To date, the average off-gassing period is five days. The company's core takes a look at the factors that may influence your experience with the mattress. Factors include length of the trial period, warranty, shipping costs, return costs, and country of origin. For Sealy, these individual terms and conditions generate a company score of 9.8. The company has a 100-night trial period and a 10-year warranty. This is shorter than the average trial period of 162 nights. For comparison, 25% of mattresses have lifetime warranties, and the average of the other 75% of mattresses is 14 years. I would recommend the Ridgecrest 2 for sleepers who are looking for a budget-friendly interspring mattress. The mattress has a high-profile height at 14 inches and a thick comfort layer. During our test, we found the firm version was best suited to back and stomach sleepers, while the plush version will be better suited for side sleepers. I'd also recommend this mattress for those who prioritize sex performance due to its high bounce and excellent edge support. Overall, this is an inexpensive mattress, but the performance is also lacking. So in a way, you're really getting what you pay for. For sleepers who just need or want a Sealy at a much lower price point and don't mind if the materials aren't at the highest end level, this could be a good option. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Sealy, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.